phrase the question to get to their no in such a way that they start seeing the benefits of yes. I'm gonna give you an example from my own life. Rich is here, so he's gonna be like, hmm, she, she used that on me. Mm -hmm. We need we need a new uh, a new dishwasher. And he is notorious about not wanting to spend money. Let's just call it what it is. <laughs> and I'm like, we need a new dishwasher. And he's going, we don't need a new, back and forth. And so we sat down to talk about it and I said, so, do you want to eat out of dirty dishes? And what was his answer? No. Ah, well then, because you don't want to eat out of dirty dishes, what do you think we should do about it? What was his answer? Get a new dishwasher. Get a new dishwasher. I didn't keep going, we need to get a new dishwasher. We need to get a new dishwasher because he just kept going, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I went, let me find his no. His no isn't, no, I don't want to get a new dishwasher. His no is, I don't want to eat out of dirty dishes. Does that make sense? So when you are in any kind of a negotiation, get to their no first, but you have to ask the question in such a way that they will give you the no, so that you can start turning it into a, not a yes, but a that's right. 